Greetings, dear reader. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, an astrophysicist, author, and science communicator. Today, I'm here to discuss a fascinating phenomenon known as the Mandela Effect and its possible relationship with alternate realities. The Mandela Effect is a term coined by paranormal researcher Fiona Broom in 2010. It refers to a collective misremembering of a particular fact or event by a large group of people. The name originates from the widespread belief that Nelson Mandela died in prison in the 1980s, even though he was released in 1990 and went on to become the president of South Africa. The Mandela Effect has been used to describe many other instances of collective misremembering, including the spelling of the Berenstain Bears children's book series, many remember it as Berenstain, the location of New Zealand on a world map, some remember it being located north of Australia, and the existence of a Sinbad movie in which he played a genie. No such movie exists. The explanation for the Mandela effect is not clear, and there are several theories. Some suggest that it is a result of false memories implanted in our brains through social conditioning, while others believe it to be a sign of parallel universes or alternate realities. Let's explore the possibility of the Mandela effect being related to alternate realities. According to the theory of alternate realities, there are an infinite number of parallel universes that exist alongside our own. Each universe is slightly different from the others, with different versions of ourselves and the world we live in. In some of these universes, historical events may have played out differently, leading to variations in our collective memories. One possible explanation for the Mandela effect is that it is a result of our consciousness shifting between these parallel universes. When we experience the Mandela effect, it may be because we have shifted into a universe where events have played out differently than in our previous reality, leading to a discrepancy in our memories. However, the idea of alternate realities is still a matter of debate among scientists, and there is currently no concrete evidence to support its existence. Some physicists and philosophers argue that the idea of parallel universes is purely speculative and untestable, while others suggest that it may be possible to detect evidence of alternate realities through phenomena such as quantum entanglement and gravitational waves. In conclusion, while the Mandela effect is a fascinating phenomenon, its connection to alternate realities remains a matter of speculation. While it's possible that the Mandela effect is a result of our consciousness shifting between parallel universes, there is currently no scientific evidence to support this theory. As with many mysteries of the universe, the true explanation for the Mandela effect may remain a mystery for some time to come. And I also would like to delve into a fascinating topic that has puzzled humanity for centuries, dreams. Specifically, are they connected to the multiverse? For those of you who are not familiar with the concept, the multiverse theory posits that there are an infinite number of parallel universes, each with its own unique set of physical laws and possibilities. Some physicists believe that these universes exist alongside our own, like bubbles in a cosmic sea. So could our dreams be a portal into these other dimensions? It's an intriguing possibility. After all, dreams are often filled with bizarre and fantastical imagery that defies the laws of our own universe. Perhaps they are glimpses into the alternate realities that exist beyond our own. Of course, this is all just speculation at this point. We don't yet have concrete evidence to support the idea that dreams are linked to the multiverse. However, there are some intriguing studies that suggest a connection between the two. For example, some scientists have noted that certain dreams can have a predictive quality. They seem to offer glimpses into events or situations that have not yet occurred in our own universe. This could be interpreted as evidence that our dreams are tapping into some kind of alternate reality. Another intriguing possibility is that our dreams are a manifestation of quantum entanglement. This is the phenomenon where two particles become linked in such a way that their properties are intimately connected, regardless of the distance between them. Some physicists believe that this could be happening at the level of our brain cells and that our dreams are a kind of quantum information processing. Of course, these are just theories, and we have a long way to go before we can say for certain whether or not our dreams are connected to the multiverse. But as someone who is passionate about exploring the mysteries of the cosmos, I find this idea to be both thrilling and humbling. It reminds us that there is so much we still don't understand about the universe we inhabit, and that there are endless possibilities waiting to be discovered. So dream on, my friends, and who knows what secrets you might uncover. But for now, please leave a comment on what topics we should discuss next.